Hello, I'm Pat Nevin, the former Chelsea, Everton, Scotland and one or two other teams as well. And I'm here at the Olympic Park, the very noisy Olympic Park, to interview the artist in residence, Neville Gaby. Sport has been a big part of uh, a lot of your work and certainly the one that I wanted to particularly talk about today was uh, all the goalposts that you're taking yeah. a picture of and uh, well first of all why goalposts? Yeah. Having grown up in South Africa I spent quite a lot of time there and I was really intrigued by finding these structures in the middle of the landscape and I studied sculpture and when I first saw them I thought they were extraordinarily sculptural objects because mm. to make a goalpost it has to stand up in space it's got to deal with gravity you've got to then make a junction that in the top corner um, so all those things are really sculptural and then I noticed that people were using whatever they found locally mm. to do that so there were some like, stones, string, drain pipes and I thought that tapped back into sculpture in terms of being very inventive with materials so originally I started taking them because I thought they were an extension of what I was interested in as a sculptor. Most of the work, if not all of the work, there's no people in it. No, so it's very, true. it's very architectural. <laughs> but you know, I looked at it and thought to myself, it doesn't need people. You don't need them because you can see the society from the goalposts and what they're made of. You couldn't have articulated it better, Pat. And it is about that. It's about allowing people who look at the photographs to bring something of their own imagination to that relationship between the posts and their location. Modern football, extremely wealthy young men and most of your pictures there, it tells a different picture completely. Is that part of what you're trying to say? It's about society's difference with football or sport and the disconnect? I think that's a, re that's a very good question and you're absolutely right. Um, football as we know it here is so elite and, and so exclusive in one sense and I, I'm really interested in the, the, the way people connect at a very, very simple level. For me, what I really like about football is it's accessible on all sorts of levels. And although I have perhaps a slightly different understanding of what I want people to see when I look at the photographs, I don't mind what level people buy into that work. And if it encourages people to go out and look and do their own things, fantastic. Goalposts have got one fantastic thing more than anything else. Naturally, they look like a frame. Yeah, absolutely. They work exactly like that in terms of the photographs. And I felt it was really important to position myself relative to the goalpost where the penalty spot might have been. So it just <laughs> operates like a frame. And so no matter where the country, there was something which was absolutely identical in all of them. But you go to a city which you've never visited before mm. with a view to taking photographs of goalposts, it becomes a really interesting way of beginning to understand a place, a city, a landscape, which you might never have encountered in, you know, previously. And I quite like that idea of this journeying, this searching out for something. When you find that goalpost, is it like scoring a goal? <laughs> <laughs> Well, it is actually, sometimes you find things which you just think, wow, that is stunning. I mean, what really surprises me, it's two verticals and a horizontal, uh -huh. but actually the creativity in how those are done. I'm amazed that every time they're completely unique, they're really uh -huh. special. And sometimes you'll find one which you think, wow, now I would never have thought of making a goalpost uh -huh. like that. And it is, it is that kind of moment, I suppose. Uh -huh. 